Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session. Our webinar will begin in just a few minutes. While you're waiting, uh, feel free to review our program information at csudh.edu slash ccpe slash meeting dash event dash planning. We'll see you in just a minute. Good day. My name is Anissa Barton Thompson, and I'm the social media specialist for the College of Continuing and Professional Education here at California State University, Dominguez Hills. Um, I'll be your host for this session today. So welcome. I want to uh, let you know that this webinar is being recorded and will be available on our website and our social media resources shortly after today's session. Please feel free to download the CSUDH meeting and event planning certificate program information kit for details about the program and additional resources covered in this webinar. The address is bit.ly slash csudh dash mex dash info kit. We have provided a link in the chat for those who are participating live. It will also be available via a follow-up email to attendees as well as on our website. Now, before we jump in, I'd like to review the Zoom controls. The session is being presented in a webinar format, so you don't need to worry about connecting your microphone or your camera. However, we do want your participation. Help us address your needs. Use the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen if you're joining us from the Zoom desktop app or the web browser, or in the top right of your screen if you're on a mobile device. Please ask your questions in the Q&A panel rather than in the chat panel. Once you click that Q&A button, a dialog box will open allowing you to type in your question. In the chat panel, we will be providing helpful links and other information. Our marketing staff members, Stephanie Miller and Keith Otterberg are standing by to assist to answer your questions. We'll be answering those questions towards the end of the session, although often you may find that the question you have has been answered during the program overviews. So with that being said, let's take a quick look at our agenda for this certificate program session, also known by our quick abbreviation, MEX. 
We'll begin by meeting our faculty who will introduce you to the program via an overview of benefits, expectations, and course details. Then we'll go over registration and login information and address your questions in the Q&A session. Our goal today is to give you a 50,000 foot overview of more than 40 hours of instruction in the fine art of event planning. Instructor Deshaun Wynn has joined us today and will introduce the instructor team and the program. Deshaun, welcome. Thank you, Anissa, and good morning, everyone. I'm excited to be here. Um, as Anissa said, I am Deshaun Wynn. I am the co-lead uh, for this uh, program, and myself and Christina LaRubio, who um, was not able to join us today, but um, is excited uh, for this upcoming um, semester, um, will we uh, revamped this program, and um, we're excited about uh, the opportunity to um, for you to join us. Um, I have more than 25 years of experience in the meeting and event industry. I have executed events for education, nonprofit, corporate, religious, and government agencies. In 2010, I formed Winning Touch Event Design. It's a company that specializes in strategic planning and content design. I am a certified meeting professional with an emphasis in healthcare meetings, and I uh, also currently serve as president-elect for Meeting Professionals International, Southern California chapter. And I am also on the membership committee for the National Coalition of Black Meeting Professionals. My colleague, Christina, uh, she has almost two decades of experience in the event and meeting industry. Um, her emphasis is nonprofit event fundraising, community outreach, and educational events. She is the Director of Operations for Executive Education at Pepperdine's Gracia Dio School of Business, and she has a Master of Arts in Social Entrepreneurship and a Bachelor's in Business Management, and she is also a Certified Meeting Professional. This program is very special to both Christina and I because this is where our friendship began. Approximately 14 years ago, uh, we were both enrolled as students in this program. Uh, so this program means a lot to us and we are excited to be able to continue the journey as, uh, as instructors. So now that you know a little bit about us, we want to learn a little bit about you and why you are here today on this webinar. Um, so we just want you to take the time to complete the poll that has just popped up. And we just want to know why you're here. Are you here because you want to learn about the industry and um, or enter into the industry? Um, are you currently in the industry and looking to grow some more skills? Um, are you not directly in the industry, but you want to diversify your skill set or upskill? Um, are you looking for CEUs uh, because you want to test or get um, a industry designation? So we're gonna take some time, uh, allow everybody to um, complete the poll. And then when we have a good number that has completed the poll, we will take a look at the results. So. And Deshaun, I noticed that um, we have a lot of people that are interested in upskilling. Is this an, a, a, a great opportunity for people to network as well? Most definitely. Uh, part of the benefit uh, that Christina and I both got from this is the people who we met through this program with our guest speakers, um, through um, the different industry organizations that we were introduced to. Um, definitely a, um, an amazing way to network within the industry. So, yes. Absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and end the poll and we see that we have a, a pretty good majority of uh, participants that are um, providing their feedback as to awesome. their interest. So, um, Deshaun, if you'd like to go ahead and read some of those results back. Uh oh, I can't see the results. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So it looks like 36% uh, of you 
um, would like to learn about or enter the industry. All right. And then the, our second is you're currently in the industry and looking to grow the skills. Uh, we have 21% saying that I am not directly in the industry, but want to upskill. All right. And only 7% are looking for CEU requirements. Well, hey, you guys are in the right place. Uh, let me tell you that you will get a benefit uh, in all of those areas through this program. And so um, I will go into more detail about how we can um, meet those needs. But first, I want to talk just a little bit more um, in, about the industry itself. So recently, the Events Industry Council, in partnership with Oxford Economics, released its 2023 Global Economic Significance of Business Events Study. Sorry, that's a mouthful. Um, and in this study, um, it was determined that the, meeting and, the global meeting and events industry is a $1.6 trillion industry. And we are supplying about 25 or 27.5 million jobs. So as you know, the pandemic definitely had a huge impact on the industry. However, the EIC reported that in 2022, global business events recovered at about 80% of pre-pandemic levels. And that recovery is still going strong. So as we go to the next slide, you can see just how strong um, our industry growth is. Um, the US News and World Report this year ranked meeting, convention, and event planner as the number 20, as number 20 on its best jobs list. So they are anticipating another 22,900 jobs to open up between now and 2023. So as you can see from this graphic in California, there is a predicted job growth of 11% more with more than 2000 jobs opening over the next 10 years. So this is a great time to enter the industry. It's a great time to explore new careers in the industry. And it's definitely a great time to get the skills that you need. So with that in mind, let's look at who should enroll in this course. So. Do you find yourself having to gather people uh, together in a professional or personal setting? Um, does your job include planning, coordinating meetings, conferences, fundraisers, or social events? Um, maybe you have a desire to plan weddings or specialty events. Um, you might be considering making a career change and you want to be introduced to the field of meeting and event planning to see if this is for you. Um, you also may be in the hospitality industry and you're in a role of hotel sales or convention services. Uh, this is a great place for you to be. Um, do you work in a job related, uh, job -related field such as entertainment, audiovisual, catering, um, and you want to uh, further your skills to give yourself that competitive edge? Um, are you already a planner or coordinator and you're looking for CEUs to qualify or test for an industry designation? And you may be working in human resources or a marketing department and you find yourself having to plan some meeting and event, uh, um, you have some meeting and event responsibilities. If you found yourself answering yes to any of these questions, you will benefit from this program. And the knowledge that you will gain will help develop specific skills that you need to be more effective and efficient in your role. You'll be able to catch up on the latest trends in technology, and you will also be able to explore new career opportunities that you did not know were available. The hospitality industry is extremely vast, and we want you to explore, you know, the, we, we want to help you explore the variety of career paths that you can take. So with that, um, we will uh, we will give information on event and plan meeting planning coordinator. Um, we will also look at wedding special event planner. Um, we will look at destination management executives. These are just some of the career paths that you can take within this industry that we will touch on. Um, we have corporate and association planners, um, indiv independent meeting planners and entrepreneurs. And then also there's the catering side and food and beverage side. 
the MEX program is designed to help you successfully, successfully navigate in these careers. Now, however, the skills taught in this program just don't apply to the media and event industry. There are many skills that can be applied to various other fields. The MEX program offers training and tools that can also be helpful to those in human resources, marketing and PR professionals, administrative and executive assistants, and project managers. Some of the skills that we will explore and, and get training and tools in are budgeting, logistics management, negotiation, social media marketing. So with all this in mind, I want to take another poll. So in this next poll, I want to ask you, uh, what are the which of the following topics are more are most interesting to you? Would it be budgeting and learning how to um, to to uh, document revenue and expenses, how to generate um, the the pricing for your events? Is it risk management and how to limit your liability to keep your attendees safe? Is it venue selection and services? You know, do you want to learn how to negotiate, how to get better pricing for your venues? Or maybe it's just the meeting planning best basics. You just want to know the very basic items of planning an event. Or maybe again, you need help with career planning and resume building. Which of these topics is most interesting to you? And I'll give you a little bit of time to make your selection. I, I know everybody is so excited about the budgeting piece because that's the most fun. <laughs> All right, and as we see, give them about 20 more seconds. All right, <laughs> everybody's dropping in their choice, and then we'll see the results. It's interesting to see this is a pretty even mix here so far. All right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end that poll. And you should be able to see the results. All right. See, I knew everybody would love budgeting. What did I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> budgeting is coming in at 27%. Uh, risk management at 7%. Okay. I just want you to know that if you think about risk management after the incident, it's too late. <laughs> so it's very important. Video selection and services. Yes, 27%. Meeting planning basics is coming in at 20%. And career planning is also at 20%. Awesome. All right. Thank you for participating in that and letting us know. So I do have great news for you. Each of those topics will be discussed in the MEX program. So you will get an introdu introduction into all of them. Um, and so just to, before we get a deep dive into each session, um, I do want to talk about the program overall. And so our program, the courses are held on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, you will complete the certificate program in just two months time. The program is offered twice a year during our fall and spring terms. So if you want to uh, review the current course schedule, download our program information kit or check out our website. And the program information kit, uh, the link to that has been placed into the chat. And because each session builds upon the knowledge learned in the previous class, it's extremely important that students uh, attend and participate in every section, every session in order to receive the necessary credits to uh, complete the program. Upon successful completion of the program, you will be awarded a digital certificate. So the program is hybrid. Five of the sessions will be held online via Zoom and two of the sessions will be held in person. The two in-person sessions will be held at a local venue, and the second session will be held 
um, on campus. So there is a combined total of seven sessions overall that you will participate in. So now let's uh, give an overview of the topics covered. The program will uh, cover essentially all aspects of planning and executing a successful meeting and event. It will be, you will receive hands-on experiential learning. Um, so you will learn by doing. Student, the first part of every session is spent with um, learning basic principles, vocabulary, um, industry best practices. And the second part of every course is really geared towards um, the experiential learning, bringing in uh, guest speakers who work um, in the different topics that we cover so that you can learn from their experience. Every session you will receive a template or tool that you can use uh, immediately within your um, real world meetings and events. And um, we will also uh, do exercises and activities within the class so that you can understand and learn how to use these tools. So now I want to take this moment to pause and talk about our wonderful um, uh, panel of guest speakers. Um, we have Bruce Cox, JD. He is the Vice President of Business Development and General Counsel. Uh, of Cox Event Consultation Services. Bruce is an industry attorney and he will give us tips on uh, contract review and he will also um, help for you to understand some of the common mistakes and how to avoid those mistakes. Carol Rubin, CMP CMM. She is a, a, a former faculty of this program and a veteran expert and industry professional. She will serve as our capstone project panel. She will serve on our uh, project panel and she always offers priceless feedback. She has amazing stories that she always shares and she has, she absolutely loves sharing her knowledge with other people um, and giving um, insight through her experiences. Jackie Wiseman, MBA, is the Director of Digital Marketing at Otis College of Art and Design. Jackie will share event marketing tips and strategies, and she also gives a lot of information about social media marketing. Uh, Jessica Chang, MSW, is the Assistant Director, Career Programs and Marketing at UCLA Economics. She will conduct a career and resume workshop to help participants better sell themselves and how to use the skills gained from this program to uh, further your career, to boost your resume. We have Jeanette Jordan, who is the owner and designer at J Squared Events. Jeanette will share her entrepreneurial journey and she will discuss um, her wedding planning uh, business and she will also talk about what it's like to plan social and high profile events. Joe Marcy, CMP, CITP, is an executive for the Monterey County Convention and Visitors Bureau. He is also on the Global Board of Trustees for Meeting Professionals in International. And he will share insights on careers on the supplier side of the industry. Um, he is also a master networker, and he will give industry tips on how to use networking to further your career. Kimberly Stansell, CMP HMCC, is an independent meeting and event strategist. Uh, she will provide insights on being an independent planner, and she has a unique approach to entrepreneurship um, that she will discuss. Dr. Crystal Rawls, PhD. She is from Workforce Integration Network at Cal State University Dominguez Hills. She will share workforce data with us on um, what roles in various, in various industries require the skill sets that you are um, gaining through this program. And last but not least, we have Marilis Kroc, CMP, CMM, CTA. Uh, she is the Vice President of Meetings and Partnerships on um, Partnership Sales for Visit Anaheim. Mayor Les will also share 
um, her expertise on the supplier side. Um, she will give insight on how to work with industry partners um, to make your events successful. And she will also serve as one of our panelists for the last session. So now uh, let's look at uh, how the next, let's look at the different sections and let's see what each session will focus on. So we have meeting planning basics, leadership and people management. This session will provide an overview of the event and meeting planning industry and its stakeholders. This session, this session will offer tips for identifying your goals and objectives for your event, developing timelines, and establishing a meeting design. We will also discuss how to manage a team and give some uh, people management tips. After we give a broad overview of the industry, we will take a deep dive into the backbones of the event. So we will look at financial and contract management. That was one of the items in the poll that um, a lot of people were interested in. So during this session, we will explain the basic elements of a contract. We will look at important contract clauses, um, things that you don't wanna miss. We will also discuss common mistakes in contracting. This session will also provide a detailed account of how to prepare an event budget. Um, you will be given an Excel template that you can use to help identify cost. And we will review some cost saving measures that can help you affect uh, that can help affect the bottom line. Our next session will give you a deep dive into the process of securing venues and vendors. And that is the RFP and RFQ process. During this session, we will review tools used to secure used in securing venues, um, vendors, how to get pricing information for items such as decor, audiovisual, catering. Uh, we will discuss some negotiation tools and we will give some cost saving tips. We will also uh, review the importance of the event specification guide, which is also known in the industry as the event Bible. Uh, this is the go-to documentation that will be used by your vendors to help service your event. Our guest speaker for this uh, session will provide information on resources that are available to planners, such as destination management organizations and convention and visitors uh, bureaus. And we will discuss how to utilize these resources to make your job easier and to um, help your event be more successful. Our next topic will focus on risk management, marketing, and public relations. So the safety of events and event attendees uh, was important prior to the pandemic, but now it is on a whole nother level. So during this uh, session, we will teach how to identify and measure risks, how to develop and implement procedures for risk mitigation, uh, participants will also receive a template for putting together your uh, event emergency action plan. Uh, as you know, we live in a cancel culture world. So during this session, we will discuss how to protect yourself and your stakeholders and organization from a PR nightmare. Um, we will learn about creating uh, social media policies, uh, policies for talking to the press, and we will also discuss what to do if after a mishap. So uh, the next session is one of my favorite sessions, and that is the facilities and services section. For services session. Uh, this is one of the um, in-person events. Um, during this session, you will have a hands-on behind the scenes experience. So this will take place at a local Los Angeles hotel. Um, and while on site, you will conduct a site inspection. Um, we will discuss more about negotiation tips. Um, you will hear from the supplier side on uh, what is negoti negotiable and how to negotiate. Um, we will discuss room setups. We will review uh, food and beverage documentation. We will discuss menu selection and how to um, make 
things uh, meet budgets um, and still um, have great menu select selections. Uh, we will gain some insight into audiovisual requirements, what is needed, um, how to negotiate the best rate. And we will also hear from the hotels on how pricing is set. So the our, our key um, reason for having this session is we really want you to understand the behind the scenes of what it takes um, from a supplier side. Uh, we want to have better working relationships with our suppliers and our vendors. And so in order to do that, we have to both understand um, what goes into um, making these events successful. So this session will give you a look into the supplier vendor side. Uh, our next session, is going to focus on you. So this is our career planning session and using event and program management skills. Um, there will be a panel of guest speakers who will share their experience from both the planner and the supplier side. Um, so as I said before, there are a lot of different ways that um, and a lot of different career paths uh, that are in this industry. And so this is just a great way of hearing different sides, different perspectives, um, and being able to ask questions from people who are in those fields. Um, we will look at unique ways to approach entrepreneurship. Um, and during this session, um, our guest speaker will also uh, offer resume tips and discuss how to use networking to expand your career. And for our last session, you will be able to take all the tools that you have uh, received from the program, all of the information that you have received from the program and put it to use. And it's our capstone project presentation. Um, in the past, a lot of the participants have used events that they were actually working on um, to do their uh, capstone project. And so with this, you'll be able to, what, what we ask is that you take the tools that were offered each week and you present to us um, a design plan for a social or corporate event. So again, this is a great time to take something that you already um, are thinking about planning or are already responsible for and get feedback from our panel of experts. So um, the purpose of this project is to give you practice in using the tools that we made available to you. And um, we, again, get feedback on how to make your events more successful. So I know this was a lot. So let me give you another snapshot into the benefits of the MEX program. By the end of this certificate program, you will be able to successfully plan and implement meetings, events, and programs using the information gained through our interactive instructions. Templates and tools will be shared with you that you can use right away. And you will have insight from industry professionals who are doing this all day, every day, and can give you real life experiences. Christina and I feel strongly about this program. Uh, we think that it'll be a great benefit to you. It has been a great benefit to us in our careers and um, our careers being successful. And so we believe that it does not matter why you're here. Um, you, it, there is something of value that you receive from this program. So we hope that we will see you um, in the upcoming um, session and I will now hand it back over to Anissa. Thank you so much. This was such a great overview of the program. Um, we're going to come back to Deshaun uh, momentarily. We want to make sure that we address all of the questions. So we're going to go into a little bit more of the logistics of getting registered. So um, Deshaun, make sure you get your sip of water while we're waiting for you to come back for the Q&A. <laughs> and uh, just to let everybody know, almost all of the CSUDH continuing education professional development programs are being offered in an online or and or hybrid format. So students are assigned online access through our campus's IT services. Each student will need login credentials to access our student portal 
called My CSUDH. This portal includes our Canvas learning management system where all of the course content is distributed, Toro Mail, which is our Gmail-based student email system, and the Zoom web conferencing tool. These login credentials, which consist of your username, email account, and password, are issued through our registration office approximately two to three business days after registration in the first course or in the course. So enrollment is available from our College of Continuing and Professional Education's registration office, and the current hours of operation can be found at csudh.edu slash ccpe slash registration. If you have taken a course with us recently here at CSUDH, you may register online using your MyCSUDH account. There are no prerequisites for enrollment and no admission process. We highly recommend that you register early to make sure that there's space in the course and allow enough time for course information and online access to be created and distributed. Payment is due at the time of registration and the federal WIOA, we call it WIOA or Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act provides funding through the California Employment Development Department, EDD, for qualifying students who are currently unemployed or seeking career training. For more information, please email WIOA at csudh.edu or visit our program website for more information. And if you need any additional financial assistance, please Google private student loan providers or connect with sallymay.com for student loan details. Again, we recommend that you register at least one week before the course begins. Once you have registered uh, and received your login information, you'll be able to easily access the Toro student portal to connect with your class and check your Toro mail and personal emails frequently for special instructions and campus notifications. You'll also want to be sure to test your account access in our learning management system and get comfortable with the layout of the class, such as where to find announcements, Zoom meeting schedules, discussions, and the like. Let us know via our academic technology services if you're having any difficulty connecting. Okay. So Let's go ahead and get ready to jump into our Q&A session. And I want to remind everyone that uh, you can use that Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. Um, we've covered quite a bit of information, but go ahead and click on that Q&A button if you want to ask any additional questions. And I see um, our first question that came in is um, from Rosemary, who asks, am I able to enroll in this course if I do not reside in the Los Angeles area, um, and she lives in a, a, a different part of California. Um, and we know that there is an answer of, um, you may enroll in the course if you do not reside in the Los Angeles area. However, the program is held in a hybrid format. So that's five sessions uh, that are live online on Zoom and two sessions which are in person at the local venue or on campus as Deshaun has stated earlier. And attendance in the in-person sessions is required. So for those residing outside of the Los Angeles area, we do recommend that you contact the Extension Programs Department at extassist at csudh.edu for additional information and possible solutions uh, to get you into the program. All right. So let's start with this question. Um, Deshaun, can you let us know, how do I get hired in meeting and event planning with no prior experience at all? Uh, that is where amazing networking comes in. <laughs> and uh, during our resume uh, building session, again, uh, you will be able to uh, learn ways to make your resume more appealing using the skills that you have. Um, again, you will have seven weeks of um, introductions to some amazing industry professionals um, who um, it, it, it really, I cannot express enough how um, how much networking and knowing and um, getting to know people and letting people know 
um, your needs, um, how valuable that is. Um, so this is definitely um, seven weeks of introductions to some really some people who are really involved in the industry um, who know about jobs in the industry and also um, tools that you can use to build your skill set to make you look um, better on paper and as well as um, selling yourself uh, that is also something that um, is provided in the resume um, uh, in the resume work uh, session is really being able to sell yourself and um, uh, make yourself um, more appealing to those who are hiring. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take that slide down for just a second. Okay. Um, our next question is, is there homework for this particular program? Or is there assignments and things? So yes, uh, you are given a tool um, with every session that um, we want you to use um, for your capstone project. Uh, we also give you time during the session to work on your capstone project um, and you can work um, with the other participants in the program um, to help put together the, the, um, your project. And so um, your homework is really putting together that, uh, that plan are putting together that event that you will present at the last session. So again, this is why uh, you know past participants have found it very valuable to use something that they're already working on, uh, because you're you know you're doing work while you're in class. Um, and again, the feedback that you get from the panel of experts is uh, is invaluable. Absolutely. Um, are there any textbooks or required materials that a student needs to purchase? No, we provide everything that you need for the course. Okay. Um, what happens if a student has a schedule conflict on the day of a particular class session? And we always that? try to work, we understand life happens. Uh, we try to work with everybody who uh, participates in the program. Um, again, we can, uh, we'll talk, you know, it's a case by case uh, basis. But we normally try to make sure that you have the tools that you need, um, that you're able to proceed and able to um, successfully uh, uh, speak to that during your capstone project. So yes, uh, okay. we will work with you. Okay. Um, let's see, what types of professional organizations are available for meeting and event planners? Uh, there are so many. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Most of uh, our panelists and participants have um, what's called the CMP, uh, Certified Meeting Professional, which is probably the most recognized de designation that you can get in this industry. Um, I have a subspecialty in healthcare, um, but there is also people who want to be digital planners. There are digital uh, designations. There are designations for people who plan nonprofit events. There are um, designations for people who um, deal with destination management, um, convention services. So um, this industry is so vast and there's so many um, uh, ways that you can, um, you know, expand your career in this industry. And there's an a industry organization that will also help you um, to get there. Uh, this is also a great time um, as a student at uh, in the extended ed. Um, you can look at the different uh, organizations such as Mean Professionals International, PCMA, um, and you can join as a student um, at, a, at a, um, a, a reduced cost just so that you can see, is this the organization for me? So there's a lot of ways that you can take advantage of this time and really look at a lot of different um, things that are available to you throughout this, uh, this industry. That is fantastic. And I know that it really um, pays for students to be able to network and especially explore opportunities and work directly with um, folks who are already in the industry and already exposed and um, know where those opportunities lie. So I think that's Correct. invaluable. Yeah, Correct. definitely. Um, we have a question from Merceda, who's here in the session asking, what is a reasonable time students should commit to weekly reading, studying, homework, et cetera, outside of the class? Um, I, we really try, because we understand that we're working professionals, we really try to um, uh, 
go about our Saturday from nine to four to make it easier for you. So that's why we do um, uh, factor in time to work on your project while during that time and to ask questions and to get feedback and help from us. So that helps to minimize the time that you have to spend outside of class. Um, and it, it's really, um, I, I, it's really up to you and to how, how much you want to expand the knowledge afterwards. Uh, we really structure it so that you can do as much as you can within that Saturday nine to four. But again, um, there is so much that you can gain from this and there's so much networking that you can gain from this and there's so many other opportunities. Um, so if you, um, take the time afterwards is only to your benefit, uh, especially if you are uh, using the capstone project for something that you're currently working on um, and utilizing the different resources, the different guest speakers, and us as uh, instructors. But we really do try to structure it for a person with a career and get as much done within the nine to four. That's fantastic. Um, okay, so we have a question from Karen who asks, uh, she says, first, thank you for all of this information. And at the end of the program, will that student have earned a CMP certificate? No, uh, CMP, uh, you will, that what this certificate program provides is the CEUs that are needed to test for the CMP. The CMP itself um, is uh, administered through the Event Industry Council and they require so many hours of learning um, and, and uh, clock hours. So that is where the certificate will help you. You will get uh, approximately 40 hours of um, CEUs that you can utilize for that test. Okay. and many other designations so this is and strictly in terms of preparation for correct okay um i do i can clarify i know we've had a question about um what kind of certificate is provided so this is a digital certificate that is awarded at the end of the program um the completion through the california state university dominguez hills college of continuing and professional education and this also awards digital badges so um, this is designations that let people know what kinds of skills you gained in completion of the different modules or the different sections of the course. Um, so we do wanna let people know that there is a digital badge component as well. So that's kind of exciting. And if you're um, looking for a, a job or looking to move your career, um, it is something that you can put on your resume to say that, to show that you have the skills. So it makes absolutely. you um, more uh, valuable. Exactly. And you can share it on LinkedIn, because I know that there's definitely we have a student network, a professional network that we've established for our meeting and event planning students um, on our LinkedIn. And that link will be coming up in our contact information shortly. Um, I, I see that we have pretty much powered through the majority of our questions. Um, Deshaun, is there any additional information that you'd like to share regarding upcoming terms or uh, uh, new trends that you're seeing that you're excited about in meeting and event planning? Um, again, I, I'm, I love uh, our guest speakers and our panel because um, everybody has different experiences. Everybody has a different approach to this, um, to this industry. And uh, everybody who is a part of this program is very passionate about this industry and passionate about um providing insight and providing uh, and teaching uh, others uh, about, you know, how to navigate uh, this world. Um, so that I, I definitely, um, I love the people who we work with in, in our, um, in our guest speakers, and you will really get um, just to hear uh, the different approaches to, you know, I am not a, um, a decor design person, but uh, Jeanette and her approach to, to details and design, um, I, I, I go to her all the time for her expertise. So to hear her side of things, you get a different perspective than you would get from me. Um, I, I, I joked about the risk management plan. That is where, that's my, that's my piece of the pie that I love, you know, where it's um, really looking at how 
to make your um, your event uh, um, uh, safe and your attendees safe and to come up with this plan and to execute this plan. Um, and so, and, and those are things that, you know, are really important right now. And so to be able to say, here, I have a tool, I have a template, um, you know, this is what I use to, to meet these needs, um, I think is pretty uh, unique and uh, very important. Absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I'm actually going to bring up um, the slides with the contact information again, because I want to make sure that um, people once again have the links that they need to um, connect with us on our social media. I know those links were also provided in the chat. But I think, um, Deshaun, when you brought up the, the last bit of information, I think it's so crucial to understand how skills from this particular program are so relevant to so many other kinds of industries as well, um, as was completely evidenced um, recently through the pandemic and beyond. Um, I think just even being able to address soft skills like um, being able to do presentations, uh, showing leadership, showing planning, showing budgeting and risk management, those are things that that's invaluable skills right now. Those soft skills or, or 21st century skills, as they're called, are exactly. absolutely invaluable. So, And with the capstone, you will be getting in front of a, a, a group to, to present your idea. So yes, that is a definite skill. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, Deshaun, thank you again. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get us uh, wrapped up into the end of our info session. So at this point, we've covered a vast amount of information regarding the program, but just in case we missed anything, uh, please feel free to email or call us during our business hours, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at learn at csudh.edu or phone number 310-243-2075. And when you're ready to take your next steps and register, our registration office will be standing by to take your registrations via phone at 310-243-3741, option one. But also remember that if you've recently taken classes with us here at Dominguez Hills, simply log into your My CSUDH portal to register for the course online. So this concludes our meeting and event planning certificate program information session. And we wanna thank you again for joining us today. Again, please feel free to connect with us on our website via social media and on our Facebook and LinkedIn groups. And remember to register early to get your spot in your preferred class. So we'd love to get your feedback on today's session. Please let us know how we can improve the quality of the information provided by visiting bit.ly slash CSUDH webinar dash feedback. The survey will also be available via a follow-up email to attendees, and it should pop up right after the close of the information session as well. We'll stay in the session for a few minutes more just to give everybody an opportunity to jot down those last minute notes and download the MEX information kit from the chat panel. The recording for this session will be online shortly on our website and again linked via social media. When you're ready to leave, simply click the red leave button in the corner of your screen. Once again, thank you for joining us. Stay safe and we look forward to working with you soon. See you in class. Take care everyone. Bye everyone. <laughs>